Shalom. Giving all praise to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Rechahakwadash. Double honors to the apostles, the elders at Great Millstone who rule well. And as always, we give peace and salutations unto the elect. Just having a conversation with a fellow brother, and we were speaking of the investment, all right, which this uh, thing of ours, as the elder Apostle Gabar says, all right, or coming into the truth or being awakened to the truth via the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, all right, it requires a sacrifice, which is likened unto an investment, and the investment is your spirit, all right, you're making your body a living sacrifice, putting off the ways of this world. All right, which are going to be a covering when the foresaid prophecies actually hit. And if you're looking at what's going on amongst Jake, all right, when you look at what's going on in this world, period, okay, you're starting to realize that you didn't miss out on anything and that you actually gained by coming into this truth because what's in this world is a bunch of goddamn confusion. Okay, especially amongst our people, the whole world lieth in wickedness, as the scriptures say. And you've withdrew yourself from the mindset of this world. Okay, now we're in this world. You use the world. You don't abuse it. You have to do what you have to do. All right, but your end all be all, your mindset, and your sacrifice and investment. Okay, is for the kingdom of heaven. Okay, your decision making is based upon ultimately the fear of the Lord, which is going to make you to be looked at crazy in this world. But now that we're getting to the end of this thing and these prophecies are finally hitting, you're starting to see that the investment that you've uh, invested in through the spirit was the right choice. Okay, our people are losing Look at the confusion going on amongst people who we thought were winning. Look at Hollywood. There are people who, you know, jumped into this whole rap game or Hollywood. Look at the mess, all right, that it's come out to be. Now, before our eyes were open, we thought that these were people of nobility. We thought that this was the way to go. We wanted to be famous, which that means thirsty <laughs> all right we wanted prestige with that what stats an illusion when you look up these words that you know we had no idea about all right but i i uh, typed in the word invest okay because the people who invested in this world are getting ready to take a major loss now an investment Okay, um, we all know of the, uh, you know, investing money into the stock market. Okay, sometimes you have to suffer before you get a gain. Okay, and we're suffering now in a spiritual sense going through this straight gate to get the wide. Now, the true etymology of the word invest is to clothe, to clothe, to clothe in the official robes of an office. Uh, from Latin into verse to clothe in, cover, to dress. And that's exactly what you're doing, all right, when you put on the Holy Spirit. You're covering yourself from the hell because the people who have made a covenant with death think that the covenant they made with death and the money that they have, the fame that they have, or whatever it has, is going to cover them, all right, when they're in for a rude awakening. It's actually the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai that's going to cover you. As the scriptures say, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time. Now, as you keep reading, it says the meaning use, use money to produce profit is attested from the 1600s in connection with the East Indies trade, yada, yada, yada. So it became attributed with money at a later age, right? Now, I have this scripture here, all right, because all we have to do is hold tight. In the investment, all right, though we, you know, when you look at the, the market, you know, the back in the day, this truth wasn't a hot thing, 
okay? But we've invested in it. Even you brothers and sisters who are now being awakened, you're investing, all right? Hey, get in while it's hot because this investment is about to hit on a whole nother level as the people who invested in this world and have lived their life without a guide are getting ready to lose. As a matter of fact, real quick, we get that in the book of uh, Sirach, the 20th chapter. Okay? Because uh, this investment takes patience. But here it is, you have a group named One Body in Yahawashai saying, it's folly to wait on the Lord. Meaning, you should invest in this world as well. Now, you have to do what you have to do to live, but ultimately, all we need out of this world is our daily bread. All right, we see where this world is going. We see where the money is going. We see where the rulers of this world are going and what you're going to have to do, all right, to be accepted into their NWO. And we want no parts of it. Okay, so that means we have to suffer for the greater cause, which Yahweh Bashim Shai is not going to leave us out there dry that really have put our trust in him. All right. Ecclesiasticus 20 and 32. Necessary patience in seeking the Lord is better than he that leadeth his life without a guide. Okay. Necessary patience in seeking the Lord is better than he that leadeth his life without a guide. Now, the scriptures say, all right, where there is no vision, okay, the people perish, okay? I believe that's in the book of Proverbs. Let me see real quick. So the guide is what? The prophecies, and the prophets are the ones who are set up to guide you through prophecy to give you understanding of what Yahweh Bashmi al Shai, all right, uh, wants and what's, you know, the plan for this current world, America, Babylon, and great, the Edomites, the, 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 the prophecies let you know that this is Babylon. This whole world is turning out to be a hunted house. Okay, a Babylonian church full of satanic rituals, sacrifices, and evil, man. All right, that's in Proverbs 29 and 18. All right. All right, Proverbs 29 and 18. Where there is no vision, the people perish, but he that keepeth the law, happy is he. All right? So where there is no vision, the people perish. Okay? Because they have no guide. They, they're they're li living a life void of understanding of the will of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So they're investing in something that ultimately is going to meet a dead end and leave them out to dry. Whereas the investment we're investing in Though it seemed to be stupid, all right, take Noah for an, for an example, okay? Noah was found clothed, all right, or clothed, all right, clothed, clothed, <laughs> all right, in the time where the prophecy actually hit because he had been prophesying, I believe, for 120 years, all right? People were laughing at him, telling him he was wasting his life, mocking him investing in that current world and look what happened to it all right eating drinking being married talking shit and this is the same thing going on with our people now but look at the world around you look at what's happening in this world look at the people who you think are winning because sometimes your flesh may pull at you and say damn i'm missing out but really what are you missing out on look look at the world look at what you have to do to travel now look at look at the, 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 so ultimately, we're winning. Revelation 16 and 15. Behold, I come as a thief. And that's how, all right, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is coming in. Yeah, we can say Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah because the Most High himself ain't coming off the throne. He's going to send Yahweh Shai. So Yahweh, in the name of Yahweh Shai, is going to destroy Babylon the Great and deliver his people. We, we have every right to say Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Don't let no nigga make you doubt. Your faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. There was always a mediator. Yahweh Shai didn't just show up in the, in the New Testament. Our access to the Most High was always through the mediator. Hell, Abraham had to go before the mediator and pay tithes when he was in his glorified state, man. On earth. 
So behold, I come as a thief. Okay, now this is Yahweh Shai speaking, but he's, he's the representative. He's the right-hand man of the Most High. The right-hand man who, who, who the, the, the king sends, that's the voice of the king. And you are to respect that person, that voice, as if it was the king himself. Revelation 16 and 15. Behold, I come as a thief. Blessed is he that watcheth and keepeth his garments. All right, now what are the garments? Okay, as a matter of fact, let's, let's prove what the garments are. Let's get Isaiah, the 52nd chapter. Okay, Isaiah 52 and 1. Awake, awake. Okay, put on thy strength, O Zion. Put on thy beautiful garments. Now, this is not talking about a physical garment. This is speaking of a spiritual covering. Because our people, when they go off, they go all the way off. When they dumb, they all the way dumb. When they gay, they all the way gay. When they nasty, they all the way nasty. So you're in a stupid, dumbed down state when you're not in line with the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. See, going back to the garden, what happened? Eve and then Adam covered themselves with a covering that was not of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. We're now to cover ourselves, invest in righteousness, okay? Make our bodies a living sacrifice as we live in a world full of sin, okay? As uh, the scriptures say, let me look at this precept here on this computer, and I'll bring it out in a minute. Reset us. What's that, uh? Yep, this is Hebrews 12 and 1. Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed about with so great cloud of witnesses, the angels. Okay, so that should make you fear the Lord. We're being watched. Let us lay aside every weight and the sin which doth easily beset us and let us run with patience the race that is set before us. And that, that requires investing your thoughts, your, 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 your mindset in how you run this race. Right? Awake, awake, Isaiah 52 and 1. Put on thy uh, strength, O Zion, the ways of righteousness, being aligned with the Holy Spirit. It, it, it raises your vibration. See, we thought being spiritual was sitting and burning some cheap incense, all right, or being different and listening to some weird jazz. Although it's nothing wrong with jazz and incense or a beautiful thing. The true spirituality is aligned with being at one with your power, understanding what his will is. And adjusting your mindset through the Holy Spirit. That's your strength. That's when you're powerful and that's when the, the enemy fears you. He don't fear you having a whole bunch of money. He don't fear you having guns and, and, and all of these. He, he fears you being in line with your power because he knows that's where the power is, the mind. See, the fight it's for your head because that's where your, the, the, the spirit lies. Esau wants your mind. He wants control of your spirit, your energy. And everything that's happening in this world is draining and pulling at your spirit, man. Okay? To get you to turn from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So put on thy beautiful garments, O Jerusalem. All right? Now, Jerusalem is a people before it's a place. Can an actual city put on a garment? No, we are Jerusalem. Wherever we are, that's the dwelling place of the Most High, the elect. That's the temple. That's the beauty of the new covenant that we're entering in. That's the beauty of what Yahweh Shai did for us. Because when he was sacrificed, the, the temple rent, the, ve the, the veil in the temple rent. Now we have access wherever we are. Okay, so we are Jerusalem. Okay, the holy city from henceforth there shall no more come into thee the uncircumcised and the unclean. Shake thyself from the dust, arise and sit down, O Jerusalem. Loose thyself from the bands of thy neck, O captive daughter of Zion. And what were we captive to? The thoughts of this world, the vibration of this world. Okay, thinking. 
that 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 winning in this world was the way to go when that's actually a loss. Now it's nothing wrong with having, you know, uh, uh, money and 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 things like that, but ultimately you have to have wisdom before all because you can have millions of dollars and be a, a demon. Look at the majority of our people. Look at what's happening in this world with these rappers. What do you think the Heavenly Father is saying? Even if it's a setup, it's all bullshit. Because ultimately they're in captivity to Esau. Esau is doing all sorts of rituals and mind control, blood set, and wickedness dealing with these people. So that was not the way to go. That was not where we were to invest in. We were to invest in what we're doing now. We're right where we need to be. And we're in the best position out of all of the people on the earth. Especially the two-thirds of our people. They're through. They're sitting there crying over some goddamn young Dolph. To hell with that nigga, man. To hell with all of these niggas. Where do they come from anyway? They just these these rappers just pop up out of nowhere and they just shove down your throat as some great. Well, who who the hell are these people? They're all a part of Esau's mind control program, but that's a whole nother lesson, man. A lot of this stuff that's just being thrown in your face, and these people are not even real, man. They're made up actors. So we gotta we we gotta separate ourselves from this world, man. Fuck this world. It's done. Excuse my French. Revelation 16 and 15. Behold, I come as a thief. And that's how the Lord is getting ready to come on this place. Because the prophecies are coming to pass. Blessed is he that watcheth and keepeth his garments, your covering, lest he walk naked and they see his shame. Okay? And the people who invested in this world are going to be naked. Okay, when these prophecies start to hit. Wisdom and knowledge is not going to be the stability of their time. Let's get that scripture. Store up uh, uh, treasures. Means Matthew 6. All right. Matthew, the sixth chapter in the 20th verse. We'll start at. Uh, now he's teaching about money and possessions. You see, when you look at the people in this world, you may be on Instagram or somewhere looking at people you know. They seem to be enjoying their lives, but they they got juiced. Okay, they're confused. They don't really know what the hell is going on. They're vulnerable. They're naked. You think, all right, uh, uh, they're 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 happy, but they're miserable. Okay, we're suffering for righteousness' sake. Because really, if you go into this world, what exactly are you going to gain at this point? Look at it. And the people who put off this truth and, 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 and left this truth, you're going to wish you had listened. Because although all of these enchantments are being thrown before your face, behind closed doors, the elites are hoarding up all of the earth's resources and telling you it's too many people. So what does that mean? They're getting ready to do all sorts of wicked, evil, unjust practices on, onto the people, man, to justify their plan of an NWO. And it's happening right before your face, but you have to be in line with the Holy Spirit to see it. If you're not in line with the Holy Spirit, you don't think Esau's doing nothing. Talk to a nigga. Niggas are talking about 20 years down the line and getting a, a, a retirement pension and all of that. So niggas are, are going to ultimately take the chip. Okay, and their children, if they really want to, uh, uh, if, if, if what they had their mind set on happened, we'd all be through. Okay, but anyway, let me get back to the scriptures. Uh, Matthew 6 and 19, this investment is getting ready to pay off, y'all. Watch, it's going to hit. All right, <laughs> it's gonna hit, man. And you, and when an investment hits, you be like, "Woo!" Because you may be looking, and nah, I'm gonna pull out. I'm gonna pull my money out. Nah, I'm gonna leave it in. But when it finally hit, you be like, "Oh Lord!" See, milk of magnesia. That's how we're about to be on a whole nother level, man. Milk and honey. Matthew six and nineteen. Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth. Where moth and rust do corrupt. Look at the moth and the rust that's happening to this world, man. It's nasty. It's not a good look, man. Okay, look at black culture. What is it? Yuck. 
okay, where thieves break through and steal. Niggas just getting shot left and right. Adultery is running rampant. Okay? These people are miserable, man. Especially the people you think have made it. They're in captivity on a whole nother level. They don't have their soul. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven. All right. And it's an investment where neither moth nor rust do corrupt. Where thieves do not break through nor steal. Esau or no nigga can steal the Holy Spirit. They can't alter it. They can't change it. See what we have. As a blessing comes directly from the heavens, man, which makes it that much more special and worth investing in. See, people that invest in the things of this world, which there's nothing wrong. If you brothers are into the stocks and nothing like that, there's nothing wrong with that. As long as you understand where the money is going and understand that at some point you're going to have to let it all go. Because in order to keep your money, because they're getting ready to crash the stock market. They're getting ready to crash everything. And in order for you to get a little, because they're not going to give you everything back. In order for you to get a percentage of what you had back, what are you going to have to do? You you just take a major guess when it's all said and done and they move to this, uh, uh, um, what's the name of that? Uh, the, the digital currency. There's nothing wrong with it. All right. But those of us who are in this truth, who are into that. Ultimately, we understand that eventually it's going to be through. But for the people who are invested in this world, they're going to be like, please, Esau, give me, give me whatever I got to do. to, to get." And he's going he to say, OK, well, if you want to be accepted back into this new. All right. BBB. All right. The, the, the back better, which the B is a six. <laughs> BBB. All right. Tower of Babel. Okay, <laughs> building, all right, on your back better. Okay, what is that all about? All right, the reset. And what does that mean? A new world. And how are you going to enter into that new world? You're going to have to make an oath to Satan. Your pledge of allegiance, which is going to be your body. So anyone who has an investment in, 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 in the future in this world, that's what you're going to have to do. So that's out of the question for us. And the water, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh for waking us up, because imagine not knowing the truth right now. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust do corrupt. And where thieves do not break through nor steal for where your treasure is, that's where your heart will be also. And where's your heart? In the Hebrew, your word, the word heart is mind. So if your treasure is in this world and that's where your end all be of your thought, you're living your life without a guide, the prophecies are null and void unto you, you're going to be led into a pit of absolute destruction. That's why we have to keep our eyes single. The light of the body is the eye. Okay? If therefore thine eye be single, thy whole body is full of light. See, if your eye is not single and you, you, the scriptures say, look not to the left nor to the right, but keep straight on the path through the straight gate. But if thy eye be evil, thy whole body is full of darkness. If therefore the light that is in thee be darkness, how great is that darkness? And, and it's just look at the people who came into this truth, who went back into the world. They look horrible. They're miserable. But the Lord just got a spirit on them to keep them where they are now. Let's see here if we can get a, some precepts. Isaiah 33 and 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time. Okay. And strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. All right. Because you're keeping your eyes single. And you're showing him you fear him. You're showing him the things of this world. Are, uh, you're, you're over that. Now, at times, you you have points where you slip up in the flesh like Asaph said, you know, I was envious at those who were, you know, prospering and all of that. But when you come into the congregation of Yahweh Bashim Yahusha, you're good because these people are getting ready to be like, damn. Would have pride profited us. OK. Let's see here. Hmm. 
Hebrews 11 and 26, speaking of Moses, esteeming the reproach of Hamashiach greater than the treasures in Egypt. Okay. They had understanding of the mediator back then as well. Okay. Because the, the, the mediator was in the, in the chariot guiding them in the wilderness. But that's a whole nother story. Moses esteemed the reproach of Hamashiach greater than the riches. All right. And treasures in Egypt. And see, Moses was a multi- he could have been a damn near billionaire in today's terms if he if he would have stayed in his position. But he gave that all up, all right, as a sacrifice. And when Egypt fell, okay, his his investment paid off in separating from Egypt. There's various stories of great investments that later on in the spirit led to big things happening. That's what you Israelites are preparing yourself for. You're investing into the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Shai for the greater good from the destruction that's coming to this place. But see, you have a lot of people that think the way out is making a covenant with this world. With death and hell, are we at agreement? When the overflowing scourge shall come, we're going to be good. So we have made lies our refuge. Science, all of this bullshit. Right? But we're getting ready to see all of that confounded, man. Okay? Hearken, my beloved brethren, James 2 and 5. Have not God chose the poor of this world, all right, rich in faith, and heirs of the kingdom which he hath promised to them that love him? All right? Poor of this world, rich in faith. Okay? Chasing that damn bag. You go chase that bag off a mountain. Because that's where Esau gets our people at, playing with your emotions. He studied you. He knows how to get you moving. He knows how to get you to rebel against the Lord, man. First Peter's 1 and 4, to an inheritance incorruptible and undefiled that faded not away, reserved in heaven for you. So in the kingdom of heaven, we ain't going to ball till we fall and then at the end, all right, end up like Richard Pryor or young Dolph. No, we're going to ball forever. It's going to be an inheritance that, 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 that's eternal. Okay. First Peter's five and four. And when the chief shepherd shall appear, you shall receive a crown of glory that fadeth not away. Okay. Now I'm going to end it off here. And, um, wisdom of Solomon, the fifth chapter, because this is where we are, man. What is that? Wisdom of Solomon 5 and 1. Then shall the righteous men stand in great boldness, investing in righteousness, detaching from this world, telling this world they're wrong, telling them their science is trash. All right? Telling a woman she ain't the head, standing in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted them. And made no account of their labors. Now, this is a line directly with Revelation the eleven chapter. They stood up on their feet as a great army, in spiritual, uh, in a spiritual sense, and their enemies beheld them. They got scared. See, this is what scares the devil when you separate from his way. This which make this is what makes this so much more powerful than any movement that our people have ever tried to uh, in, in, in involve themselves in. See, the movements of the past all involve this world and the, the, the terms black or this or that, brown, a better America for us. No, America was never meant to be a comfort for us. Get that out of your head. R arise and depart. This is not your rest. It is filthy and polluted. But the only way you're going to get to that mindset is investing in the truth to understand this is too filthy for me to even think about having a victory in how are you going to have a victory here for you and your children your wife through so you suffer patiently waiting on your how about shai all right being 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 content with daily bread and to the lord get, get upgrades us into whatever else he has us coming to because we're all being prepared within this algorithm for a victory or to go through whatever glory we have to go through in order to get the glory Whatever uh, 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 story we have to go through to get the glory. It's already written. 
It's already provisions made for the elect. So we're not looking at this world like we're missing out. Those who have invested in this world right now, look at them. Through, confused. They're looking at Joe Biden as a leader. Hell no. Nah. Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted him and made no account of his labors. When they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear. Goodness gracious. These niggas are coming back into their right state of mind. Every What's this Israelite thing? So what, what's the first thing they're going to do? They're going to trash it. Right? Here it is. You got Vocab Malone on a pro-black TV channel pushing Christianity. He's scared. But those niggas are so stupid, they'll allow him to come just for money and views. But this is the, the, the religion that has done the most evil to us and fucked our minds all the way up. But you're allowing this man a platform to come push that nonsense all for some goddamn money? So you're going to lose. All of you niggas are getting ready to lose because you are not investing in what's right. Your God is your belly. The straight gate is not enough for you. It's too boring. It's, 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 all right. All of you are about to lose. Sakar, all of you niggas are about to lose if you don't repent. This world is done. Anyway. And when they shall see it, they shall be troubled with fear and shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation so far beyond what they look for. And that's going to, you know, when we get beamed up. But even right now, this is a part of the strangeness of his salvation, raising up the lowly of this world to just go preach. It's likened unto us just marching around Jericho. They're like, OK, what are they just playing this music? Like, what are they doing? What is this? This is weird. But when them, them walls going to come tumbling down, man. OK. So this is beyond what they look for when they thought of the God of the Bible because of the lies and the, the, the BS that's been pushed via pseudoscience and enchantments. Now, the enchantments and the pseudoscience are being found out to be lies. They're getting ready to make a move to bring the sword. Right. And they repenting, our people and everybody else repenting and groaning in anguish of spirit, saying within themselves, this was he of whom we had sometimes in derision. And a proverb of pre reproach, we passed by these niggas laughing, telling them they were stupid, mocking them, thumbing down the video, telling them they had on dresses. We fools accounted his life madness. And his end to be without honor. And that's what they thought. <laughs> All right. They, they're looking at us like them niggas are missing out. You know, I'm going to go eat a, sh a, a, a shark sandwich. I'm going to go. I'm going to go to the club. I'm going to go here. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. You invested in this world and think thought that what we were investing in was madness like Noah. <laughs> shark sandwich. I don't, it just came out of nowhere. But niggas will do it. Anything Esau comes out with, Jake will run to it as if it's some form of uh, upgrade. How is he numbered amongst the children of God and there's a lot among the saints? You Christians, you all are going to lose. Right? Because you got the Christians now, they want to act like they were into the Bible the whole time. And call on Jesus, but they love this world. They, 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 they rebel against the laws. Right? Now that they're starting to see how wicked things are, now they want to act like they're down with the Bible. But you people ain't down with the Bible, man, in its true intent. Hold your horses. Jesus is coming with a crab leg in your damn mouth. Shut up. Therefore, have we erred from the way of truth and the light of righteousness have not shined upon us and the sun of righteousness rose not upon us. The true light. Okay. We weird ourselves in the way of wickedness and destruction. Yea, we have gone through deserts where they lay no way. This world, it's an illusion of water. But the true water is within this doctrine because it washes away the filth. You add sin upon sin when you get entangled into the contracts and vibration of this world. But as for the way of the Lord, we have not known it. What have pride profited us? 
What have what good hath riches with our vaunting brought us? All those things are passed away as a shadow and as a post that, that uh, hasted by. Done. Done, man. See, what have pride profited us? What have our investment profited us? See, our life seems to be stupid, worthless, a waste of time. But guess what, man? The, the investment that we're investing in is going to pay off in a way, brothers and sisters, if we stay rooted. All right. Beyond measure, man. So hopefully y'all edify, man. Shalom.